Hi there, Dan again from Acres Aquatics. I'm going to do a video tonight on live foods and why they're beneficial in a marine aquarium. First one I'm going to talk about is phytoplankton. It's an algae which will um, give amino acids and fatty acids to your corals, your crustaceans in your aquarium. Um, and you feed it in there, you dose it in about um, 5 ml for every 200 litres daily. Um, there's no real set rule to how much to dose, um, but if you do start to see a bit of a green film building up on the inside of your aquarium, you're probably putting too much of that one in. Next one I'm going to talk about is rotifers. Um, rotifers will feed your um, SPS, LPS, most of your corals will feed off of them, some of your crustaceans will feed off of them. Um, the rotifers itself will actually feed off the green phytoplankton that you put in as well. So they work hand in hand, they feed off the green phyto and multiply um, and then they get their, their food source for all your corals. And for my last one, I'm going to talk about pods. Pods are a larger crustacean, um, larger bug. The fish can see these, um, so mandarins, um, we'll peck them off the glass and off the rocks all day long, absolutely love them, really good for them. And Amphius will feed off them, um, some of your butterfly fish will feed off them as well, they can be really finicky feeders, so it's great to have them in your aquarium. There's another benefit from having them in your aquarium, is that they will eat algae off your glass and off your rocks. Um, don't go and put them in thinking they're going to you know, rid your tank of algae, but they go towards helping with algae issues. Um, they also feed off your green fighter that I talked about earlier. Right, we've talked about them individually, and now we're going to talk about how to add them and how they all work together. The rotifers and the copepods you would add at night time. That way they get a chance to settle in the aquarium and they're not eaten, all, eaten by the fish all at once as they go in. Um, the green phytoplankton um, I tend to feed this in the daytime so it naturally gets all the rotifers and the pods up into the water column feeding on the green plankton and um, the corals will start opening up eating, on, eating the green phytoplankton and they'll also start consuming some of the rotifers and the pods which are up and about for e eating the green water. Um, so yeah, you feed that once a day. Like I said, if you get an algae bloom, start, if you start to get a bit of an algae build up on your glass ease off the green phyto, you probably put a little bit too much in than the tank can handle. Um, the real benefits from feeding this stuff is if you're feeding pastes um, or powder, um, coral foods, if the corals aren't eating it or consuming it, the skimmer is going to have to take it out of the water or you're going to get elevated nitrates and phosphates. With your rotifers and your pods, they're living just like your fish. So they're not excreting a lot of waste into your water. Um, they're going to keep your low nitrates and your phosphates down low. Um, they will go on and multiply in your aquarium and they're the nicest, naturalist way of feeding corals in your marine aquarium.